Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Jimmy and you're watching Jimboy Rules. Today we're gonna unveil my friend Tyler's new wheels and we're gonna do a not so secret process on those brand new wheels, which will protect the wheels from brake dust and other things. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. So Tyler's here, we are going to be unboxing his new wheels. Tyler, what are these wheels? So, okay. these are for my Focus RS. They are 1552 podiums, 19 by eight and a halfs. They are not the lightest wheels in the world, but they look really cool. And I don't track my car, so they don't need to be the most racy, forged, cool thing ever. I think I'm gonna like how these look a lot. I haven't seen them in person yet. Very excited. So we've not let him unbox these wheels uh, because we wanted to make an unboxing video. So he's probably going to see them physically for the first time right now. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's actually really good packaging. Yeah, no, I'm very impressed. You know, I was, I was not expecting the best because they are not the most expensive wheels in the world. Oh, look at that. That's that looks clean. awesome. I like this as well. Yes, that, that is a big part of what drew me to them. I know it's not a real center lock, it comes right off. So it's got 5x112 and 5x108. My car is a 5x108. Okay. Conveniently, my other car, the GTI, is the other bolt pattern. So if I ever get tired of these or want to go for a full racy setup, these will just migrate. They'll look sick on the GTI too. I am very pleased with my decisions right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely gives it like a kind of old 80s GT race car look. And that's exactly what I wanted. And part of what we're doing today is we're gonna try and keep them looking awesome. So what we're going to do now is the not so secret process of ceramic coating them. We bought the kit from Amazon. Yep. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description below. Let's That's see. Cost effective. So do check it out and we're going to show you how to do it. It's uh, quite a simple process. It takes a bit of effort. What does this ceramic coating actually do for so the wheels? Just like if you've heard of ceramic coating on car paint, you know, it's, it's kind of like a very heavy duty protective sealant. It has a ceramic material in it. I am not a chemist, so I can't really go into depth on that. What I'm looking for is, if you guys know Focus RS's, my car comes stock with black wheels and they're brown 90% of the time. I hate that and I don't want these really pretty wheels to be brown all the time. And I want the brake dust to just fall off of them when I clean them. So given that they're this clean right now, let's try and keep them this way as long as possible. First step, we're just gonna take some soapy water. We're just gonna spray them down, make sure they're free of any contaminants, and then we'll get going with the ceramic. At this point, we're just taking the dust or whatever is yeah, there on any, there. Off any, it. any oils or anything left over from the manufacturing process. Another reason why we're doing ceramic, look at all these spokes. They're gonna be a pain to clean, but that's okay. It looks really good. This is the best time. It's never gonna be this easy again. I feel pressured. I feel like if I don't do it perfect, I miss a spoke. I'm just gonna get lit up in my comment section. <laughs> 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 the internet's a scary place, man. <laughs> just gonna get once over on the barrel. As you guys can see, that multi lug. Very glad that's covered. I don't like that look myself. All right, one down. So we just finished wiping the wheels clean and now the next step is we're gonna do some ceramic really simple process easy product to use so instructions foam block here is your actual ceramic right here applicator cloth easy applicator little nozzle so you don't waste Obviously this bottle is not super big, only gotta get through four wheels. I'm not super worried. So a small bottle like that covers four wheels. That's that's impressive. So you just take a very little bit yeah. of it. Yeah. What it says to do in the instructions, so take this guy nice and long, so you have a couple of sections to work with. Actually should be able to do this in a way where I kind of section it off into quarters, one for each wheel, so we're not, I mean, it's clean. We're not cross-contaminating. Just to play it safe, all you do, 
wrap this fella around the foam block. And then all you do is give yourself a little bead down the front here of the ceramic, and then you just work it around. One strip should probably do us. We'll see how we get through. We do have a lot of spokes to work with, so if we run out, we gotta reapply. I'd rather get a nice thick coating and have to order more. After you put them on, how long do you have to wait to apply? You gotta do a second coat as well, right? Right, so. It says you shouldn't do anything for an hour. Probably give it a good 30 minutes. It can't hurt that bad. Then they're gonna sit overnight at least. Hopefully my tire should arrive tomorrow. And I'd really like to get the wheels on the car tomorrow. I really just wanna drive my car. I wanna see my car with these on. Shake well before use. Yes. That's definitely gonna be a, a little add-on, little title in there. Shake well. Notice Tyler is shaking well. So. Give it another shake. Mm. Oh, that smells like, don't drink that. That, that is, <laughs> that's a not drinker. That is a, yeah, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> it gives you a little drip. By the way, I just ceramic coated my thumb. Well, keep it protected, right? Yeah, no boo-boos for five years. They say five years on this protection. Um, I'm gonna try and be delicate. Oh shit. Sorry. Oh, the camera must love me. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the inside. Work the front. Oh, that's gonna be sent a problem. I could already see. That's just not gonna fit. We'll come back. Maybe I can get it. We'll just do the do it with the finger in the corners. Yeah. Oh protection. So we've done the first coat of ceramic coating on all four. And five. And the, f yeah, yeah, the hands. All over our hands, all over our hands. We're gonna wait a few minutes because it said that we ought to wait like an hour or so. So we're gonna start with the second coat. It's 11.30. Oh. I'm old, can't stay out this late. I'm old, I'm tired, I woke up at six. Okay, so we're on the last wheel, almost done. We're just getting the last bits of the wheel. I'm tired, I don't do well at night. Jimmy's, Jimmy's the night, night guy, and I don't fare well. And so, what's the next step? You're gonna know, take the wheels, get the tires mounted on the wheels? Tires go on tomorrow. So. Last but not least, we've gotten our tires mounted. We went with Firestone Indy Firehawk 500s, just like that. That's why you ceramic coat. Look at that, this comes right off. Um, I will say, I'm not sure what to expect with these tires. They are a 340 treadwear, but boy, they feel gluey. I'm excited to see no more black wheels. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove these pretty wheels uh, which we've not actually shown on the car yet nope. so let's not ruin it for you guys but tyler installed them actually i'll let tyler talk about it so what what happened what are we doing so um hub centric rings good idea to have on freeway speeds i was noticing some vibration in the wheels very common so what we're going to do today is pop on some hub centric rings these are going to um, fill in the gap between the hub and the wheel. So typically an aftermarket wheel will have a little bit extra hub bore hole. That way it's not too small. If it's too small, you have nothing you can do. You're just, you bought the wrong wheels. In my case, they're about 10 mils too big. So this guy is gonna go in the back of the wheel and fill the gap between the end of the hub on the car and the wheel so that there's no gap, no vibrations. All right, so let's do that. We're gonna remove all the four wheels and put that on and reinstall them. Oh, you came prepared. Oh, I did. We should have had those when we were doing the ceramic coating. There we go. Those are a little tricky to get off. Another part, if you guys wanna see, when I was putting the wheels on, I was one sketchy boy and my lock nut 
didn't fit. So I drove it with four lugs to O'Reilly's and then slapped on a new lug nut that fits into the holes. They are kind of narrow. I definitely recommend some kind of aftermarket lug nut because my factory one barely fit. Leave it in gear, kids. So here's what we're talking about. See this guy? Fits perfectly on the hub. Fits perfectly in the wheel. That was the vibration I was feeling. Wheel and then just on is usually the easier way to go. It's got that lip, helps it go on easier. Definitely check your owner's manual for exact torque specs, but a good rule of thumb is you should be at least 100 foot-pounds of torque on a lug nut. I've never really seen one different. We should have done this inside. I'm a dumbass. You see that? I'm like actually pouring sweat. Because, you know, sometimes in California it's 100 degrees in September. That's why we pay more than everybody. Official first complaint of the wheels, these are a little annoying to take off. They look awesome, but I wish there was a little bit easier way to pop them off. I don't want to use a screwdriver on them because I don't want to scuff them. So all the products that we've shown in this video, the links are in the description below. So make sure you check it out. The ceramic coating, it also works on the paint of the car. So you just don't have to use it on just the wheels. You can use it on the hood or the whole car if you wanted to. It's the same process. So make sure you check out the link below and it is cost effective if you do it yourself. So don't pay the dealers to get your car ceramic coated. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've enjoyed this video make sure you press the thumbs up button subscribe and hit the notification bell we're also coming up with a series which is called sunday night stories which would be airing every sunday just to be updated about all of our upcoming videos and be notified when every video comes out you should hit the subscribe and notification button for more such videos we'll be trying to post at least one or two videos out every week that's it for now so until next time ciao bye everybody <laughs>